morning it's Saturday on Thursday I looked at the weather forecast for Saturday and it didn't look brilliant but it didn't say rain at all so I booked us a fun day out we're going on a tour of a vineyard in Devon and then we're going to have lunch they've got a restaurant at this vineyard or cafe so um, we're going to have lunch there and look at the weather look look yes that is rain not good at all anyway we're booked we paid so we're still going and i thought i'd take you with us for our exciting day out well, the name of the vineyard is alder vineyard and it is near oakhampton which is about 40 miles away from us it's actually closer if you go straight across the moors but if you go to extra and along it's which is quicker um it will be about an hour away so yeah looking forward to our day out despite the inclement weather you can come with us you're invited hey, mr matthews how are you feeling about our day out are you excited ah optimum weather for vineyard visiting because the grapes will be um you know more moist and juicy leading to a more full-bodied and enjoyable <laughs> glass of wine what a twit well the weather's not taken a turn for the better let's just put it like that why is the british summertime like this no wonder people want to go abroad on holiday honestly Unreliable, isn't it? It's very unreliable. No, it's pretty reliable. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can rely on the fact it's going to be rubbish. Yes, that's right. <laughs> Great. Don't want to say it too loudly, but it looks a little bit brighter over there. That's the direction we're heading in, so we might even be able to turn the windscreen wipers off at some point soon. Amazing. Yes, that is actual blue sky. Not a lot of it, but there is some. And the windscreen wipers are off. I think it's still spitting, but it's an improvement. I'll take that. And here we are in the throbbing metropolis that is Oakhampton. It's a smallish market town on Dartmoor. We don't come here that often, but we always quite enjoy it when we do. It's, um, a few good charity shops, quite a few antique shops, and a Waitrose. Waitrose is always quite exciting because we don't have a Waitrose near us anymore. So I get quite excited about having a trip to Waitrose these days. <laughs> Got to take your kicks where you can get them in COVID times, haven't you really? I really like the colourful planters. They've got lots of um, really nice flowers brightening up the place while it drizzles. I don't think most children are enjoying their trip to Oakhampton. Gentleman's outfit as it's like the shop that time forgot. <laughs> I swear the window display hasn't changed since the mid 80s isn't there. Bananas outside this shop. Just can't understand 
why you would keep something outside your shop. That looks, it's quite a nice little green grocery. Look at the straight of those bananas. Yuck. Is there anything better in this world than a cheese display? Oh, how nice does all that look? We are back at the car and the rain is not good. It's a good job I've got my umbrella. I feel the vineyard is going to be somewhat damp today. Ashley's got his coat, so that's good. We had a nice little wander around um, Wet Hampton. Wet Hampton, yes. Interesting there. Oh, God. Just trying to refocus. There we are. Is that focused? I think it is. Um, yeah, we had a wander around Oak Hampton. Interestingly, I didn't see a single closed down shop, which is very unusual these days. We went to, where was it? We were talking about closed down shops. Dorchester last week, wasn't it? There was lots in Dorchester, but yeah, not a single one here. There's lots of little independent businesses as well, which is nice. Some of them, yes? Ah, but when they get to the internet, that will all change. <laughs> they do actually have the internet in Dartmoor, actually. Ah. <laughs> Um, anyway, we did a quick whiz round Waitrose, got some steak for dinner, um, and went to the butchers, very nice looking butchers. I showed you the cheese counter, I think, in the butchers. I didn't show you the meat, because I know some people don't like looking at raw meat, do they? But um, some very nice butchers, anyway. Yes, vegetarians and vegans, actually. We don't need your thoughts on any of those today, thank you. We're pretending you're a reasonable human being today. <laughs> Anyway, we are off to the vineyard, so um, it would be nice, universe, if we could have no rain just for the hour that we're looking around the vineyard. That would be good. Thank you. This is the main, this A30 we're coming on to is um, the main road down to Cornwall and um, from Exeter. It's the A30. Is that all right saying that? The A30 starts at Exeter, doesn't it? goes straight down to Cornwall. Three thirty, doesn't that? That's a three o three. Anyway, <laughs> thrilling discussion here about road numbers. But this is the main road to Cornwall, and look at how busy it is. We, we, it's been like this since Exeter. What? We're coming back on ourselves. Are we? I'm pretty sure we are. Well, maybe no, we're not. Yeah, we are. No, we're not. Okay. You are wrong, wrong, wrong. Anyway, my point was everybody's going to Cornwall on their holidays. There's a lot, a lot of caravans and motorhomes and just people with a lot of luggage and stuff obviously going to Cornwall on their holidays. I hope the weather improves for them. And here we are. I think the universe may have listened, although it's still a bit dark over there. Look at that view. That's pretty nice, isn't it? So where do we go? Vineyard that way, vineyard mm -hmm. shop and kitchen. Right. Don't know what's over there. Oh, that's a nice gateway, isn't it? It's a bit mm -hmm. on the narrow side. What a beautiful view. What a lovely location. What a lovely place. How very bucolic. Can you imagine how lovely that would be on a lovely day? I mean, it's pretty lovely anyway, but on a nice day it would be even nicer. Do you think that's for the bees, the wildflower garden? Um, North Devon. Yeah, well that's here then, isn't it? Um, Harland, Heartland, Heartland, Heartland Key. That's more north. Yeah. <laughs> Just had to explain to Ashley that that is not ice cream made out of dogs, it's ice cream for dogs. I thought it was Korean ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the little logo there, the two dogs and the cat. That is the start of the flowers which turn into grapes. Or produce the grapes. beehives as well which is very exciting I know I've been watching oh look 
Look at them all going in and out. Hundreds of them, they're very active. Well, oh, you've just messed up my shot. I was just filming them. They actually make the wine on the premises here rather than sending the grapes away. And this is the, all the equipment, this machine, this machine here labels it. This one here puts the tops on. This one takes the air out of the bottles before they're filled. And these are the big things where they make, make the wine. I don't know what it's called, but yeah, really interesting. That was super interesting. We really enjoyed the tour and then we had a little bit of wine tasting. We tried the rosé and the red, no, rosé and the white, both of which were very nice. Um, I didn't film that bit because I didn't have a spare hand because I was drinking wine. And now we're having some lunch. You. Look at that. Perfect view for lunch. Not so much that one. does this look? Old local Devon food. Yum. Ashley's just itching to start just eating. Ruined by this. Oh my goodness me. He doesn't like that. apples. buying wine and various other things that I found on my little travel around the shop. Really nice. They've got local honey from the bees that we saw the beehives of here. And all sorts of things. Chocolate. Lots of booze. Other bee things. And even, look at this, Devon tea. Who knew? There was such a thing as tea grown in Devon. Perhaps we're going to see where they grow the tea next time. And that is the dog ice cream that Ashley's always made out of dogs. <laughs> Wait, no, I'm wrong. That's the people ice cream. That's the dog ice cream. Dog ice cream is quite the thing, isn't it? It's fine. Well, that was very enjoyable. Would have been better with the sun out. But you can't have it all. Did you enjoy that, Mr. Matthew? It's very nice indeed and very informative. Yeah. We bought some wine to take home and I think we're going to head back home now via the moors. We're going to, we came here on the main roads. We're going to go back across Dartmoor, which I'll probably be cursing about five miles into that little trip because yeah, probably, probably be behind not. a load of tourists and caravans and tractors and things, but it will be picturesque anyway. So we are back from our day out, not quite a whole day out, but our little excursion. That's a good word, isn't it? We're back from our excursion. It was really nice, actually. Really enjoyed it, despite the inclement weather. Um, I just wanted to show you, we bought six bottles, half case of the white wine, and just one bottle of the rosé, which I'm not a massive rosé drinker and Ashley's not, but... My mum likes a glass of rosé, so I might open it when she comes in a week or so. But yeah, re really interesting. The tour was great. They had a maximum of six people on the tour, which was just perfect because you could ask all the questions you wanted. It was quite personal and um, yeah, very, very enjoyable. Nice young man who, who um, showed us round and a real family business. Well, they... Sorry, I'm just looking at the squirrel. Eating the bird food as usual. Little terror. Little terror. There's nothing in there. You've eaten it all already. Three days ago. Um, yeah, so it was really good. Really enjoyed that. The other thing I bought, bought some honey. I, I'm not a massive fan of honey, 
but it was so nice seeing the bees. Ashley loves honey, so um, we got a jar of the honey made by those actual bees. That was nice. And treat myself to a bottle of this gin. Isn't that nice? Look at the bottle. Um, Atlantic Spirit Gin. Small batch gin and it's number five Thai basil made with fresh Thai basil leaves. Thought that sounded really unusual and interesting. I'm assuming that's also local. Yeah, and handcrafted in North Devon, that one. So I shall let you know what that's like when I open it. Um, yeah, that's it for our day out. Let's go and get some words of wisdom from Mr. Matthews. What have you got to tell me about your day out? Did you enjoy it? I'm not a bloody tourist and I'm not going to tourist <laughs> attractions all over Devon and Cornwall. Why not? It was fun. Oh yeah, it was quite fun. <laughs> you enjoyed the lunch? I enjoyed the, yeah. Glad you good. enjoyed the vineyard the tour. The vineyard tour was very informative. Yeah, and I couldn't it was believe good. how hands-on it was. You know, they yeah. are actually really working it themselves. Yeah. It's a real uh, family business. They were, yeah. the, um, Mother ran the restaurant, the young man and his dad did the, um, grew the vines and did, they literally do it from start to finish themselves. It's all family members. So really nice, really enjoyed it. Um, I'll put a link to the vineyard in the description box below. Absolutely not sponsored or anything, all paid for ourselves. Um, yeah, and that's it. I hope you enjoyed this. I'm going to make this into a little series, I think, um, of Days out in Devon. Well, not I'm not a bloody tourist. I thought that was the alternative <laughs> for it. Called I'm not a bloody tourist. <laughs> I don't think we can actually call a series of videos I'm not a bloody tourist. But, yes, Mr you'll Matthews get, will be coming. You'll have to get a stand-in for me. <laughs> <laughs> sure I could get a better behaved one. Anyway, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.